Hello everyone, my name is Goma Signolo. Welcome to another video by Attention Matrix where we try to make learning fun and easy. Please comment, like and subscribe if you would like us to continue making this content and you enjoy it or find it helpful. Now on to the next video. Let's get right into it. Okay, for this lesson we are going to focus on geometric series. Okay. Geometric series. G O metric series. I think my handwriting is improving. Geometric series. Okay. So um, we are going to focus on geometric series. Remember what a series is? A series is simply the addition of the terms of a sequence. Okay, that's all that it is. So I'm just gonna uh, put down, write down a geometric, uh, uh, geometric, um, geometric sequence here. Here's a sequence. The sequence happens to be geometric. Okay. I'm telling you that it's geometric, so you don't have to prove that yourself. This is a sequence because we are using semicolons instead of pluses. As soon as we replace the semicolons with plus signs, then we are dealing with a series. We're no longer dealing with a sequence. We are dealing with a series. The terms are the same. The values of the terms are the same. And the positions of the terms are the same. The only thing that's changed is that we are adding them all up. We are adding them all up. Okay, so it means that what we have is we've got T1 plus T2 plus T3 plus T4 plus T5. We are adding all of them up and etc, etc, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now if I asked you, if I were to ask you, same as for the arithmetic series right if i were to ask you to find s5 right remember we had an equation for geometric sequences that equation looked like that this is what it looked like we had tn right and whatever the value of n was here is the same value for n that we're going to have here and we know that t n means that the nth term or the term in position n of the sequence. Now it's the same thing for a series. Sn simply means the sum, the sum of the first n terms of the sequence. Okay? The sum of the first n terms of the sequence or the series. So in this case, if for instance I am looking for S3, right? It means that I want you to take the first three terms, T1, T2, and T3, and add them up. Okay, so the first three terms, the first one there is 2, second one is 4, third one is 8. So there's going to be 2 plus 4 plus 8. Okay. And then this is going to give you 6 plus 8. It's going to give you 14. It's going to give you 14. And this is going to be my answer. So then, therefore, S3, the sum of the first three terms, is equal to 14. That's easy enough, right? I'm going to use another sequence, another geometric series, rather. So uh, the one that I used uh, before in the previous video, that's 5 plus 10 plus 20 plus 40 plus 80 plus 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 whatever if i ask you to find s4 okay it means i want you to find the sum of the first four terms of this series so that's t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 okay t1 is 5 there's t1 term 1 is 5 let me just label them. Uh, there's T1, there's T2, there's T3, there's T4, that's 40, there's T5, that's 80. Okay, so then I just add them up. T1 is 5, so I just say 5, plus T2 is 10, T3 is 20, and 
t4 is 40 and that's where I stop why do I stop at t4 because that value is 4 there I must add up this uh, I must add up the first four terms of this of this series so that's gonna be 5 plus 10 that's 15 plus 20 that's 35 plus 40 that's 75 okay so this is gonna be 75 that's 75 okay now what if they asked me to find what if I ask you, because I'm the asker, I do the asking. What if I ask you to find term 11? Sorry, not term 11, the sum of the first 11 terms of the series, so S11. It's simple. You would have to say T1 plus T2 plus T3 all the way, all the way to T11. Okay, so you say T4 plus T5 plus T6 plus all the way to T11. You can imagine, now if I say find S100 or S200 or S1 million, you can't add, you can't find all of these terms individually before adding them all up. It's going to take you forever to finish, right? It turns out that you probably know what I'm about to say, that there is a formula to enable us to find those values much quicker. And the formula for the geometric series the sum of a geometric series is as follows it's s n is equal to a open bracket one minus r to the power of n divided by one minus r okay um this equation actually has has uh, two forms Okay, the two forms are they're the same, but you might prefer one form over the other in some cases, but they're the same. It doesn't really matter which one you use uh, for the most part. The second form of the equation is you just uh, write it this way, and then you will get both of these. We should get both of these forms in your, in your uh, formula sheet. Okay, both of these forms are okay. Now, you can use these two equations. You can use these two equations to find the sum of the first n terms of your of your geometric uh, series okay so let's use the series that we were looking at above here so this series here 5 10 20 40 80 and let's find s4 okay um let's uh do this let's say uh 5 plus 10 i'm just gonna rewrite it plus what was the third one 20 plus 40 plus 80 right let's find s4 what is s4 without adding the first four terms up let's use the equation any of the two equations is fine what is s4 well we know that our equation is sn is equal to a open bracket 1 r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. Okay, that's our equation. We just have to substitute uh, stuff into this equation. Now, before I actually substitute stuff into this equation, let me just point out what each of the terms or each of the variables in the equation is. Okay, so a in these equations, a is the first term. Okay, so a we know is always the first term of our sequence first term right and r is the common ratio r is the common ratio common ratio excuse my handwriting but that's the common ratio that we uh, you know how to find that by now and n is simply the position of the term that you're considering these two values of n should always be the same that's just the position okay of the term that you are looking at or that you're considering okay okay so coming back to our question uh, that we were solving initially that we're supposed to solve we are asked to calculate the sum of the first four terms of this geometric series okay we're asked to calculate the sum of the first four terms uh, s4 
Um, so now what we're going to do is just substitute um, the relevant values into the equation. Okay, so um, firstly, it's always a good idea to write out the variables that you have. So A is equal to 5 from the series. That's the first term. And um, R is equal to the ratio between any two successive terms. So in this case, I'm going to choose T3 over T2. And then uh, we're just going to substitute those two values. So that's going to be um, T3 is going to be 20. Um, and then T2 is equal to 10. Okay, so equal to 10 there. That's T2. So I'm just going to divide by uh, 20 divided by 10. And that is 2. So that is R. That is our value of R. That is our common ratio. Okay, uh, so we've got A and we've got R. And now we can uh, punch stuff into into the equation. Okay, so um, substituting into the equation, we've got S4, the first four terms of the geometric series. Oh, we must write N as well. N is 4. So we've got S4 is equal to um, 5, which is A, open bracket 1, minus R, which is 2, to the power of N, which is 4. Okay, then close bracket all over. 1 minus r, which is 2. I'm just substituting into the equation. Um, that's all it is, just substituting. So now that is all equal to 5, open bracket, 1 minus 2 to the power 4 simply means 2 multiplied by itself 4 times. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So it's 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. Okay, close bracket, uh, divided by... Uh, all divided by uh, minus 1. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So that's minus 1. Then moving on ahead, uh, if we simplify this, we get uh, all of that is equal to 5, open bracket, uh, minus 15, uh, close bracket, all divided by minus 1. Okay, and then minus 15 times 5 is going to give us uh, 75. That's 15, 30, 45, 60, and then 75. So uh, it's going to give us minus 75 um, divided by minus 1. Okay, so all of that is equal to 75 because the negatives uh, cancel each other out. So it's going to give us a positive 75. Okay, and this is the same answer as the answer that we got previously for the same example when we were doing it uh, the, the old school way. So... We've actually uh, used the equation to find uh, the same answer that we found when we were using that long process earlier on to calculate um, the sum of the first four terms. Let's use another example. Okay, the earlier example was this one here, uh, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and we were looking for S3. Okay, uh, we were looking for S3, so we are going to find that okay so um let me just write it down this is two this is four actually i must i must write it as a series and not as a sequence uh so let me just erase and um so it's gonna be two plus four plus 8, plus 16, plus 32. And we want to find S3. What is S3? Well, we can use uh, one of the two equations that I gave to you earlier on. Actually, I'm actually going to use the second version of the equation just to prove that we're still going to get the right answer. So we know that Sn is equal to A open bracket, which version did I use in the beginning? Let's see. I used um, 1 minus r. So in this case, I'm going to use r to the power of n minus 1. Okay. So r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Okay. And then you can just substitute. You can just substitute your numbers. Firstly, write out what you have. It's a good habit to uh, uh, to uh, to do that. So we've got A. A is our first term. There's our A there. A is 2. R is equal to, what is R? Just choose any two random numbers that are next to each other. I already told you that this is a geometric series. 
So I'm just gonna say uh, T1, T2, T3, I'm just gonna say T4 divided by T3, right? T4, in this case, this is T1, this is T2, this is T3, this is T4. So T4 is 16, T3 is eight, okay? And then 16 divided by eight is two. So we know that R is two, okay? So our R is two. So I'm just gonna write it here. R is equal to two. And what is N? Well, we were asked to find S3. So N is equal to three. Okay, we were asked to find S3. So N is equal to three. Then I'm just gonna substitute um, and solve. So S3 is equal to A, which is, what is A again? See, this is why you have to write things down, you forget. A is two, okay, A is two. So this is two, and then R in this case is also two, N is three, so that's R to the power of N minus one, divided by R, which is two minus one. Okay, so now you've got two, now I'm just gonna solve two times two times two is 16, is eight, sorry. Two times two is four, times two is eight. So that's eight minus one divided by two minus one is one. Okay, and then what you get on top here is two times seven divided by one, and that's gonna give you 14. And this is your answer. So S3 is equal to 14. What did we get earlier on when we were using that long approach? Where is S3, 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 S3? There's S3. Here's 14. I even ticked it here. S3 is 14. So here we were using the long approach, and then down there we used our equation, um, and we got to the same answer. Okay, you would do the exact same thing for the other example that we used here for to find S, S11. Okay, so I'm not gonna, uh, I actually didn't complete that example, but I'm not gonna do it. It's the same, same, same approach. You just find out what A is, what R is, and then you substitute, okay, and then you solve. Now, of, of course, uh, questions can get a whole lot more complex and complicated than that. A is not always gonna be given, R is not always gonna be given. You'd have to do some simultaneous equations in some instances to solve these things and whatever. Those will all come when it when we do practice, um, when we do exams and when we do more examples on these topics and concepts. These concepts can always be made more difficult, but as long as you understand the fundamentals, which is the aim of these uh, videos, to, for you to understand the fundamentals, then you should be able to use the fundamentals to solve more uh, complex problems, okay? These are the building blocks and you can use the building blocks to build more complex buildings and houses, okay? so. This is how you use the equations. Remember, only use these equations if you are dealing with a geometric series. You have to, you have to prove or you have to be sure that it's a geometric series. Otherwise, you're not going to get the right answers. How do you prove that it's a geometric series? R. R for any two successive terms. The ratio of R for any two successive terms should be the same. It should be the same. For all of all, all, all the pairs of successive terms, it should be the same. If it's not the same, this is not the video for the question that you're solving. It's a different video, it's a different type of pattern. Okay, so those are your geometric uh, series. Um, now, in the next video, we will still be looking at geometric series, uh, but we will distinguish between divergent series and convergent series. Okay. Um, but that's for the next video. For this video, this will be enough. Till next time.